deep in the shadows I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other ah. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel My name is C Chronicles And I go by that name across all my social media platforms So do check out my Instagram, TikTok And my second channel, C Chronicles Unscripted Now on this particular channel, I focus on Middle Eastern fragrances And if you like that style of fragrances, which is mostly clones Please do remember to subscribe and join the family Now if you're returning, thank you so much for the continued support Now welcome to today's video guys I have gotten my hands on a North Stage of Okay, this particular one and this one is uh, for Katri, all right? Now, it comes in this beautiful uh, orange box, dramatic presentation, and uh, the North Stage presentation, as I noticed, are on fire, right? These are the ones that I think uh, Paris Corner is putting a lot of work in, and these are the ones I think are drawing inspirations from some of the complex or, those, or some of the more pricey fragrances on the market. Now, this is a close-up of the bottle, guys, so it's gonna immediately remind you of orange and all the nice stuff. I'm gonna spray it on my arm here because I've been doing reviews back to back so this is the part that is left that I can actually spray this fragrance on now that was a general spray guys because I do like the DNA of this fragrance it opens up with a complex mix of citruses there is an evident mandarin orange in here also goes on to list Sicilian orange and uh, not that they listed theirs but uh, because it draws this inspiration guys from uh, Louis Vuitton's afternoon swe uh, swim there is an inclusion of that Sicilian orange in that particular fragrance and because I have smelled afternoon uh, swim and this one is at par I'm going to go uh, by the mental shortcut that the notes are going to be at par uh, it also has a bergamot so there is a sweet built up of of, uh, citruses and a little bit of a bitterness there which is something that you will get from bergamot or the actual rind uh, of the citrus there could also be an inclusion of uh, tangerine in here but it doesn't list that but it just is you know a fragrance that transports me to sweet citruses with a little bit of a bitter tone and then in the middle of this fragrance is going to have the inclusion of the ginger and what a perfect combo because what the ginger simply does it it's it adds a fizziness to the citruses it's it adds a sparkling uh, or an effervescent feel to this citruses so you are to expect a spicy fizzy sweet citrusy fragrance uh, unfortunately because it's citrus 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 for some it's not going to excite them that much because it's linear it's citruses and spices citruses and a fizziness citruses and a gingerness that is what to expect in here i there is a note of amber gris uh, but it's not doing the most in this fragrance there's also something in here that comes off as salty. So for the mental shortcut, this is going to be a citrus that transports you to a body of water. This is going to be a citrus fragrance that transports you to summer days. This is going to be a citrus fragrance that transports you to a seaside setting, that sort of thing. The saltiness doesn't turn to marini but it does have like a salty tone to this uh you know fragrance what i like about it is you can see the work that went in here uh what i also like about it is it is at par with what it's cloning because side by side i did test them and i also have afternoon swim in uh, oil concentration and i know that uh you know that particular fragrance doesn't come in oil concentration but i'm just saying i do have that and the actual thing when i went to louis vuitton and uh, not because i had bought this the actual thing because when i I got uh, my oil i had to test the actual thing before you know i actually pressed pay on the oil because i i fell in love with the actual thing but i couldn't afford the actual thing so i added the oil and when the oil turned up it was so you know similar to to this as you know it was similar to the original and that is exactly what uh paris corners interpretation is it does not stray from that afternoon swim by louis vuitton uh, so if you're one a person who's on a budget or you're looking at saving your coins i would say guys uh if you can get your hands on this one it's definitely going to be value for money and i know some of you have been complaining by the fact uh, about the fact that paris corners are expensive uh, especially uh in the u.s but 
you know going by the fact that this one is cut off that lv uh you know or borrowing from that lv dna then this is one of those that if expensive would still be worth it because obviously the louis vuitton one is going to be uh, very expensive so summer days bright summer days uh, a dna unfortunately that also has that familiarity in the sense that if you have used citrus fragrances especially uh, complex citrus fragrances citrus citrus on citruses for example the Guerlain's le frenchie this is not going to wow you and it's going to be one of those that are you know do, do not have twists and turns so common denominator here is we've got to love citruses for us to love this fragrance or for you to love this fragrance or before you uh you know press pay make sure you like citruses but they're not light there are citruses with the depth there they're citruses that are carrying a sweetness and a bitter tone tying everything there to make it more about the citrus and a citrus that is enduring so though it's one of my favorites i'm just going to say unfortunately it does have that likeness to some of the fragrances that i already have so that's going to be the con gender this is gender neutral men women can wear this and enjoy it equally it's not a fragrance that draws you know closer to this or aligns closer to a masculine dna or aligns closer to a feminine dna unless you're the sort of person that i you know that just has that mental shortcut that when a fragrance is done in this fresh summary uh i'm not gonna say colony fresh summery uh citric nature gym like then it aligns with masculine sense but for now all i can say is this is a gender neutral fragrance it, it's easy it's easy on the nose even a youngster can wear this even somebody who's older can wear this so i'm not gonna put an age cap on uh, you know uh not stage four or quatre very nice name that they thought uh to put on this they have a green one that i do not currently have if i well not just a green one i think they have three more after this and i've been slow to catch up guys mostly because i'm trying to avoid redundancy uh you know how middle eastern fragrances or middle eastern fragrance companies have been on the roll there so i'm trying to avoid redundancy but why i am gravitating more towards paris corner is it does seem as though paris corner have done a little bit of research there in making sure that they bring us dna's that haven't been washed up you know and by dna's that haven't been washed up i'm talking about dna that haven't been done a gazillion times for instance baccarat rouge 540 imagine getting a baccarat rouge 540 clone in this day and age i mean that's a fragrance that has been done that and as much as it's enjoyable and beautiful but it has it's been on the market people are uh, it's now very one of those that has so many versions on this on the market whereas it does look like paris corner is cloning not only just the new new releases they're trying to get it right when it comes to timing they're also trying to get it right when it comes to picking on the dna's that are not washed up so definite recommendation there if you love your uh citruses piercing there you are going to enjoy this uh, but do remember it also has a sweet roundup to it so it's not going to be just sour sweet citruses just imagine yourself smelling an orange uh the rind of an orange the tangerine that sweetness and a little bit of a bitter tone there coming from uh, what you would smell from the actual bergamot and then a touch of ginger to add a spice in a of fizziness and then concentrate that for longevity and then you have yourself this fragrance lasting power does not disappoint for a summer themed fragrance i get a fragrance that holds up for at least six seven hours on uh, of course general sprays of our 10 12 15 sprays you know so it's going to hold up a fragrance that you actually may not need to reapply which is remarkable for a fragrance that is built around citruses i'm not going to call it beastly but it does have longevity considering that it is a citrusy fresh toned fragrance sea chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today let's meet in the comment section guys where we'll obviously discuss more about fragrances let me know your thoughts on the paris corners let me know your thoughts on this one if you have it is it a fragrance that you think is worth the coins is it a fragrance that you think was worth cloning i would just love to interact with you in the comment section remember to turn on post notifications as well that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this one and remember as well that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers